Bravo, New York! Oh. Hello, New York! Hello, Harlem! Oh, it is good to be here tonight. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. You guys, hey, have a seat. I've got something to say. Thank you. No, thank you, because uh, I am here tonight, uh, not just because I need your help. I'm here because your country needs your help. You know, th th there was a reason why so many of you got involved in the campaign in 2008. Worked your hearts out. And it wasn't because you thought it was going to be easy. When you decide to support somebody named Barack Hussein Obama for president, you're not doing it because you think it's a cakewalk. You did it because you understood the campaign wasn't about me. It was about a vision that we shared for America. A vision that wasn't narrow and cramped. It wasn't an idea that in America you just look out for yourself and the most powerful among us can just play by their own rules. It was a vision that was big and compassionate and bold and it said, in America, if you work hard, you've got a chance. You've got a chance to get ahead. Doesn't matter where you were born, it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter what your name is. If you're willing to work hard, if you've got some talent, some idea, if you're motivated, you can make it. And it was the vision that said, we're greater together than we are on our own. Keep inching the country closer and closer and closer to our ideals. That's how the greatest generation defeated fascism, yanked us out of a Great Depression, built the middle largest middle class in history. That's how young people from every background were able to suffer billy clubs and fire hoses to ensure that our children grew up in a country where your race is no barrier to what you can become. It changes hard, but we know it's possible. We've seen it. I've lived it. I've lived it. I've seen it. And so, as we go into this election year, I want everybody to understand, you know, yes, my hair is grayer. Yes, uh, you know, we've got some dings and some dents. And yes, this financial crisis has been a wake-up call. But you know what? There is no other country that doesn't envy our position. They, they understand that this country is still that last best hope. And they are counting 
the world is counting. And our fellow citizens are counting on us not giving up. Not giving in to despair. If you want to end the cynicism and the game playing and the point scoring and the sound bites that pass for politics these days, then you've got to send a message. This year, starting right now, that you refuse to back down, that you will not give up, that you intend to keep hoping and keep pushing and keep fighting just as hard as you did four years ago, you are going to keep believing in change. And if you are willing to do that, if you are going to work just as hard, if you're able to generate that same passion and commitment, and I'll be there next to you, because I've often said, I, I said in 2008, I, I'm not a perfect man. I'm not a perfect president, but I, I promise you that I've kept that promise I made you in 2008. I would always tell you what I thought. I would always tell you where I stood, and I would wake up every single day fighting as hard as I can for you. I am just as determined now as I was then. And if you are willing to stand alongside me, we will knock those obstacles out of the way. We will reach for that vision of America that we believe in in our hearts, and change will come. If you will work harder this time than you did last time, change will come.